Hello everyone, this is Vai Manoharadi, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I am going to explain you the concept of problem solving on SSL implementation. So, how we are going to provide SSL for the securing websites and how we are implementing SSL for the different types of security services in web. So, before that, what is meant by SSL? So, what is meant by SSL? So SSL is an abbreviation used for Secure Socket Layers. So what it stands for what? SSL stands for Secure Socket Layers. And it is treated as an encryption technology. It is treated as an encryption technology that keeps sensitive data between web servers and web browsers. Web servers and web browsers. So it maintains, it keeps sensitive data between both web browser and web servers and to be maintaining secure as well as private secure as well as private so maintaining the data maintaining the data to maintain the data to maintain the data secure and private private maintain the data is secure and private in between the browser and in between browser and server in between browser and server there is one encryption technology that we have to implement so that encryption technology is ssl so which indicates that what secure socket layer which indicates that what secure socket layer and ssl may also be called as tls or transport layer security protocol TLS or Transport Layer Security Protocol. So these protocols rely on certificates that provide an assurance to the user about the identity of the website. So they are maintaining identity of the website. So identity of the website they are communicating with. They are communicating with. So identity of the website to maintain the identity of the website and keep the sensitive data keep the data is secure and private in between the browser and browser and server to keep the data safe and private between the browser and the server and the identity of the web browser. so once we enable that ssl your website will use https instead of http so normal HTTP stands for what? Hypertext Hypertext Transfer Protocol. But when we implementing SSL, automatically it is embedded with the Hypertext Transfer Protocol with the security. So Hypertext Transport Protocol Security. Transport Protocol Security. HTTPS. So now we will see also see a padlock sign on the next of before URL also. We will see the padlock sign also. So your website address in the browser to show that it, it is secure. So it indicates that what one lock symbol that is nothing but lock pad symbol and along with that it indicates that what HTTPS so that the website which you are searching or website that you are seeing is to be secure that is to be secure so we should be aware that google chrome and other web browsers show non-ssl websites as not secure so some of the browsers are showing that not secure websites as well as secure websites but the as a user we have to careful that the browser displaying the information about the security website or not if not secure uh, site if, if it is not a secure site then the information which you are giving which you are giving on the site is not safe the information which you are giving is not safe but when it displays secure website automatically the information which you are giving for the site is to be secure the information which you are giving is to be secure so that means if you are not using ssl certificate on your website ssl certificate on your website 
that you can lose your customers trust you can lose your customers trust because all the websites may not be secure but the may not be secure in, in the sense they are having the data of the users is not safe the data of the users is not safe so to maintain that users data is to be safe and secure that website has to be implemented with ssl that website has to be implemented with ssl which provided by ssl certificate which provided by ssl certificate so here ssl is a secure socket layer and it is encryption based internet security protocol so we can say that it is an encryption system you can say you can say that it is a encryption technology as well as you can mention that it is a internet security protocol internet security protocol so one is in terms of encryption technology and one what is in terms of internet security protocol so ssl stands for security socket layer for the encryption based technology as well as for the internet security protocol why we are saying that in the two ways means the internet security protocol which provides a security for additional with the protocol they provide additional security for the protocol so here we can observe that this user connecting with the normal sites user connecting with the normal sites so that normal http is going to be displayed so that indicates that a normal lock symbol that is insecure connection that is insecure connection and it is a normal http that is normal websites that you are browsing normal websites that you are browsing but for ssl the user user uses the https websites so that it is an encrypted connection so that it is a encrypted connection so that the user browsing on that connection user browsing the data user browsing the data on that connection on that connection on that connection is secure is secure so that user can fill all the fields instead of the website or web pages instead of the website or web pages so that all the data which you are entered is kept as a private and a safe kept it as a private and a safe so this figure indicates that what it is a so here we can observe that one example so greek ants dot myspaces dot info which indicates that not secure which indicates that what not secure so here the it indicates that not secure means this website is not having ssl certificate and this website is not implemented with ssl implementation so the users whoever want to search on this website is going to be fill some fields fill some data is not safe and not secure not safe and not secure so as a website visitor you should proceed with the extreme caution on websites that have a not secure label not secure label so that the user has to think once that the filling of the information on this website is safe or not so user has to think once the user is going to fill the data is to be safe or not so we recommended that you don't give them any personal information so we recommended that what you don't give them any personal information so such type of websites are not going to provide such type of such type of websites are not going to provide a secure and private policy there is nothing but confidentiality of the user information confidentiality of of the user information so they never they never maintain the data is to be safe and secure they never maintain the data is to be safe and secure but in the ssl implemented sites having the secure and safe mechanism so here the sites that uses ssl will display a padlock icon so this indicates that what the symbol is looking like this the symbol is looking like this is a padlock symbol padlock icon 
on the address bar so this is the address bar and here you can observe that padlock icon so padlock icon is observed that so now users can click on this icon users can click on this icon to view the certification identification and other information about website other information about website so when you are trying to search for the information about any website so you can type the website on the address bar if it shows the padlock symbol along with the http yes certificate then the user said that the certificate of this website is to be legal and having ssl certificate so that the user can able to provide some personal information on the websites is to be safe and secure safe and secure so websites requiring personal data must have an active ssl certificate installed from a recognized certificate authority recognized certificate authority so the website has to be implemented with ssl so those who websites are not having ssl then that websites are not maintaining the data has to be safe and secure but if any if any website is implemented with ssl then the data which is provided by the user is kept in safe and secure on the website kept in as a safe and secure on the website so implementing ssl is provided by the certificate authority so implementing ssl by providing ssl certificates ssl certificates which are issued by which are issued by issued by certificate authority which are issued by certificate authority so the certificate authority agencies will provide the secure socket layer certificates so that our website our connection to the website is to be secure so that maintaining the website is to be secure so that indicates that what your information example like passwords or credit card numbers or passwords is private and when it sent to this site so you are sending you are sending your information on to this site is to be safe and secure is to be safe and secure so how we are uh, we are providing uh, secure socket certificates means the certificate authorities will give the active ssl certificates active ssl certificates so with this active ssl certificates the websites are maintaining safe and secure of the user information safe and secure of the user information so how does ssl work section so now we we know that what ssl provides certificates to the websites so that websites are implementing the ssl implementation so that users can provide the information as is as a safe and secure confidential so how does actually ssl works so here the ssl protects user information by encrypting the data being exchanged between browser and server browser and the browser so when you are typing the information on the browser automatically the typed information is to be encrypted automatically the typed information is to be encrypted so when visiting website your browser will automatically check for an ssl certificate and to see if it is valid and up to date then it is uh, it is allowing you to enter the information so before entering the information it checks that the browser checks that the website which you are visiting is having active ssl certificate or not if it is having an active ssl certificate it checks that verified then it allows you to enter your personal information it allows you to enter your personal information if website certificate is correct then the browser uses the website's public key to encrypt the data so whatever the data you have to enter on the website is going to be encrypted by this public key encrypted by this public key they then send this data back to the designated website's server where it is decrypted using both the public and the private key 
both the public and the private key. So when you are entering the data on the website, it is encrypted. It is encrypted. After that, the data is sent back to the server. So that server, uh, uh, server receives that all the data and uh, decrypt that uh, data using private key. Decrypt that uh, data using private key. So here we can observe the, the steps. So browser requesting a connection. So browser requesting for the connection, and the server sends a certificate with public key. So now server sends. Uh, Certificate with public key. So now browser checks that certificate validity. So browser checks that certificate validity. So if it is valid, if it is valid and verified, then encrypts the data using public key. Encrypts the data using public key. So after encrypting the data using public key, the data is sent back to the server. So now server decrypts the data using private key. Server decrypts the data using private key. So now the browser and the server are interacted with the use interacted with, uh, interacted with the SSL implementation in healthy way. In healthy. Way. So if if any if anything is not founding if anything is not founding, then it is going to be used for uh, mispurposes. That is not going to be store all the uh, information about the user. Not going to be store the personal information or something. So the whichever enter the information is to be maintained safe and secure. The SSL has to be implemented in between browser and the server. SSL has to be implemented between the browser and the server. So are SSL and the TLS are the same thing? Is that SSL and the TLS are the same or not? So we'll see here. SSL is the direct predecessor of Another protocol called TLS, so transport layer security. Yeah. So that is nothing but before starting of the transport layer, SSL has arrived. So in 1999, the Internet Engineering Task Force, Internet Engineering Task Force, proposed an update to SSL. Proposed an update to SSL. Since this update was being developed by the IETF and Netscape was no longer involved. Then the name was changed to TLS. So before 1999, it is treated as a SSL. It is treated as a SSL. So after that, the 1999, the SSL is proposed as a transport layer security. Transport layer security. So, so to implementing that SSL, we need to provide SSL certificate also. So SSL can only be implemented by websites. So SSL can be implemented by websites that have an SSL certificate. That have an SSL certificate. Technically, it is called as a TLS certificate. Technically, it is called as TLS certificate. An SSL certificate is like an ID card or a badge are stored and displayed on the web. So it is like a, a key card or it is like an ID card which stores all the information about the domain, about the website and is stored or displayed on the web. So by websites or application server. Websites or application server. So how they are maintaining the data to uh, display on the websites, how they are maintaining the data to display on the different platforms. With the help of these certificates, they are providing safe and secure mechanism to display the data, to display the information, to display the information. And one of the most important pieces of information in SSL certificate is the website's public key. Website's public key. So the public key makes encryption is possible. So that SSL implementation, SSL implementation is done, SSL implementation is done with uh, with the help of public key only, the help of public key only. So SSL certificate stores all the information about the domain or about the website which you are going to uh, explore on the website, uh, explore on the web, explore on the web. So here we can see how does HTTPS works actually. So SSL explain. So here the user is going to be accessing a secure site. 
which is nothing but http s site and now the second one check dns records for ip address to find the website host so it, it is going to be checked suppose like uh, i am trying to find the information about www.jntuva.ac.in so now i am going to searching for the information about this website so here the website the dns records check whether this website is available or not check the dns records check the dns record for ip address to find this website host to find this to find this website host so now website dns records verified dns records verified that the domain is valid or not the domain is presented or not domain is valid or not domain is presented or not so now websites records found so going to the host web server going to the host web server so it is requesting it is requesting secure ssl connection from website host so it is requesting secure ssl connection so the after finding the dns record it is going to be requesting secure ssl connection from website host from website host so who whoever providing the hosting service for the website it is requesting that ssl certificate is there or not now host response with the host response with valid ssl certificate because the requesting is a secure connection for website host is valid or not check that that ssl certificate is valid check that ssl certificate is valid then it establishes a secure connection in between both the browser and the both the browser and the server both the browser and the server so it is establishing a secure connection so now secure connection is established so now transfer data is to be encrypted so whoever visiting the website is having ssl implementation now it checks each and every dns records after verifying the record it is asking the host to show that the certificate and the certificate is valid then the browser and the server maintains the uh, secure relationship in between them so that so that now the data is going to be transferred in between browser and uh, server is to be encrypted browser and server is to be encrypted so if the certificate is not correct if the certificate is not correct then user will be warned that the connection is not private it shows that what the connection which you are trying to establish is not private so it is important that the site owners has to fix this error site owners has to be fix this error so site owners are nothing but host agents so site hosts host agents as soon as possible so that they don't lose traffic so now here we are using that your connection is not private so attackers might be trying to steal your information from so and so websites so now click on back to safety or click on advanced so how to get an ssl certificate for your website how to get an ssl certificate for your website so the website has to be implementing with the the website has to be implementing implementing with the ssl certificate right but how the ssl certificates are offered how ssl certificates are offered so here the most of the companies are now offering their users free ssl certificates so most of the companies are offering free ssl certificates if your hosting provider does not offer any ssl certificate then recommended using this domain.com recommended using this domain.com to purchase an ssl certificate purchase an ssl certificate and here domain.com is among the largest domain registration service so whoever wants to register itself they can use they can use this domain.com for the certificate for the certificates for the ssl certificates and uh, it is the one of the domain uh, largest domain registration services in the world and they offer the most affordable ssl prices they offer most affordable ssl prices 
so their ssl certificates come with uh, dollar 10000 dollar 10000 security warranty and a trust logo seal so 10000 security warranty and a trust logo seal so ssl certificates provides uh, basically provides domain.com and if anybody wants to pay they have to pay dollar 10000 for dollar 10000 for certificate warranty or security warranty so this is the way we are going to uh, get the certificate of our websites by the post websites by the post so this is the way of understanding the ssl implementation for the transfer of data in between the browser or the server to be safe and secure to be safe and secure so this is what we have to understand from the ssl implementation so once again we reverse the topic which we discussed in this session so here we are have to understand that what is meant by ssl what is meant by ssl so secure socket layer and which is also an additional layer additional uh, security layer of the web security additional extra layer additional security layer of the web security so ssl stands for what secure socket layer and we can mention that encryption technology encryption technology or else we can mention that what uh, internet security protocol internet security protocol so here the ssl sites and ssl not having sites not having ssl sites and not having having ssl sites indicates that what the encrypted connection the main difference is what without ssl the websites are insecure connection with the ssl the websites are secure connection so without without ssl the websites are in secure connection with ssl the websites are encrypted connection or secure connection so here that uh, the symbol indicates that what not secure the icon pad indicates that not secure and the padding symbol like a uh, lock symbol is indicates that what secure connection secure connection and here we can observe that once the website is having ssl implementation the icon the active ssl certificate icon indicates that what https symbol https certificate so ssl certificates are having for the website so that the user entered the information on the website is to be safe and secure user entered the information on the website is to be safe and secure so how ssl works actually so how I means the browser and the server are going to be contacted so the browser requesting for the connection the next server sends a certificate to the public key the next browser checks that the certificate validity the next server decrypts the data using private key so that is what we have to understand the uh, process and the how is that ssl and tls are the same thing yes we can say that uh, both are same but before 1999 it is uh, treated as ssl after 1999 it is treated as ssl dls it is treated as tls so what is an ssl certificate so it is formally known as tls certificates and how does uh, ssl works so here user accessing security site and uh, checks the dns records if dns records are verified then it is requesting for the secure ssl connection for website host now the web host gives a ssl certificate so that host responds with validity certificate then now ssl certificate is valid then establishing the connection in between browser and the server is to be safe and secure browser in between this uh, providing this connection in between the browser and the server is to be safe and secure now the user entered information on the website is to be safe and secure so if if it is uh, if it is certificate is not valid then it indicates that what your connection is not a private your connection is not a private and how to get such cert certificates so certificates are offered by different types of uh, companies and here the domain.com is one of the largest domain registration services which provide uh, the ssl certificates for the payment of dollar 10000 security warrant along with the security warrant and the trust logo seal so this is all about uh, ssl implementation that we have to understand for the 
for the connection between secure connection between browser and the server secure connection between browser and the server that's all about ssl implementation thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates